guys, I'm going to do a quick video. Um, I seen, I was looking at YouTube and I was looking for some new cameras and doing some reviews. And I seen some people in there talking about the GX7 Mark II, the GX7 Mark III, a bunch of other great cameras. And there's a bunch of videos online that compare the GX7 Mark II or Mark III um, to the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So here's my thoughts on it. Today, I picked this up. It's a GX7 Mark II. I got it for 400 bucks, and I was gonna go with the Mark III. I looked at a bunch of videos, and um, I'm needless to say I'm very disappointed with the Mark III. So many issues. Um, I don't shoot 4K that very often, so the 4K wasn't that big of a deal. The mic input was great, um, but with them having so many issues with the camera, with the overheating with the not being able to use the 120 frames a second because it overheats um, issue, I decided to go with the Mark II. The tried and true, um, nobody has any issues, great camera. And we used it today, bought it today, picked it up, went over to Disney, rode a couple rides. Um, I mostly bought it for the low light capability. I needed something that was just a little better in low light, um, shooting some fireworks, shooting, uh, early morning type stuff um, and for me the GoPro just doesn't do that so um, me and my wife we went to Disney today I had her shoot on the GoPro Hero 7 Black we set this camera up with almost identical settings um, as the Canon and um, we went on Tower of Terror first thing so as I'm filming the Tower of Terror scenes, I'm looking over at the screen at her GoPro and it looks about like that. Pretty much black. You can't see anything. Um, very poor in low light conditions, which I already knew because GoPro is my tried and true camera. I've had every GoPro since the GoPro Hero 3 um, and I've had all black edition GoPros, most of which I bought the very first day they came out. I just love these. They work great. Um, I have a kid. He's five and he's somewhat accident prone, so having a camera that um, I don't have to worry about um, is great. Plus, we go to the water parks, we have a pool. We just use the GoPro for everything. But at a certain point, I decided that I needed a camera that was a bit more cinematic um, and did a bit more for me. Now, with the GoPro here, so. The stabilization on this is fantastic. Um, I would say it's better than the Canon GX7. Um, and this does great in any type of good lighting condition. So we take this on roller coasters. Um, if you look at my channel, there's a bunch of videos shot with this on roller coasters. Um, and obviously the mounts they come with with uh, these are just make this thing so versatile. With that being said, this camera is so much better than the GoPro. The video quality is way better. Um, obviously, I've already mentioned it, the low light on this camera is phenomenal, um, which is why I bought it. I needed something that I could shoot in some rides, get some video that's low light. Um, the GoPro just didn't do it for me. Um, I'm going to have some comparison videos because in some of the other comparison videos that I've seen, um, I don't think they tested either of these cameras to their full ability. So I'm not going to take this camera on, you know, some type of upside down roller coaster or any type of extreme condition. This isn't the camera for that. This is that camera. I'm also not going to take this camera into a low light condition where I need either good photography or good video um, or even good audio honestly because the audio on the GoPro is just not good it's a lot better it's a lot better than it used to be but um, it's not it's not as good as the Canon um, and like I said I'm not I'm not giving you guys specs if you guys want to see specs on these cameras you know where to find them there's a million videos on both these cameras obviously this camera's been out for a while everybody loves this camera um, so I'm not going to give you specs I'm just going to give you real world, my opinions on it, 
Um, my wife had the same opinion, so as we're riding the ride, she's actually looking at the screen on the back of the G7X uh, and uh, couldn't believe what it was capturing. Um, basically, anything that you could see and then some, this camera was picking up in low light. Um, I can't wait to take this to Halloween Horror Nights, which I'm going to in a week or so. Um, I can't wait to take this to Galaxy's Edge, um, so many places. But with that being said, this camera, the GoPro, it's not leaving my camera bag. There's a place for this camera. Um, and I use it a lot. I mount it to a hat, which I'll show you guys. Um, I have a hat rig, which I really love. Um, slow motion video, this camera does great. Everybody knows that. Um, the hyperlapse is great. The 4K is, 4K is good. Um, it doesn't cut out. It doesn't turn off. It doesn't overheat. Um, it's just a great camera. Nothing wrong with GoPro. I love GoPro. They make a great product. Um, but I wanted something a little more cinematic, something that gave me the ability to just shoot a little better quality video, definitely better in low light, had a better microphone. Um, like I said, I was looking at the Mark III, but with all the issues, thanks for all the videos that everyone put out on the Mark III um, and its issues. Because um, I honestly feel like I would have made um, a 750-ish dollar mistake buying the Mark III, but this camera, the GX7 Mark II, I am thoroughly impressed with, and I think it's fantastic. If you can find one of these um, cheap, especially cheap like I found one, like I said, $400 is remarkably cheap for these cameras, um, I would get one. They're great. You can't go wrong with this camera. It shoots great video. The pictures are amazing. Um, like I said. Keep an eye out, I'm going to be doing comparison videos on rides, real world, what these cameras will actually do, um, not specs, and I'm not going to put them into perfect conditions. So um, that's about it. I just, I think this camera's great, I think this camera's great, but I don't think that these cameras are in the same box. Um, it's like comparing this camera to a full SLR camera. Um, you know, it's it's just not the same. So um, hopefully that helps somebody. Um, hopefully you guys will go out and buy one of these cameras. These things, they're great. Um, I don't, I literally don't think you can go wrong if you bought one of these. I don't know anybody that would be unhappy with this camera. It's a great camera, um, especially for the money. This camera is a great camera. I. I don't ever regret buying a GoPro. I think they're great. And the biggest thing with the GoPro is all the mounts. I mean, you can mount this thing everywhere. I have mouth mounts. I, like I said, I, bought, I built a hat mount. Um, I mean, they have helmet mounts. It's just the versatility of this camera and where you can put it and what you can put it on um, is great. So hopefully tomorrow or Friday, um, assuming this hurricane that we're getting is not going to slow anything down, I should be getting a gimbal for this camera, and this camera, and also my Note. Um, I got the Crane M2 gimbal coming for these cameras, um, which I can't wait to try out. This camera is going to fit on it perfect, um, and we're going to get some really good video. I just can't wait to uh, show you guys. So keep an eye out for that. Look for it. It's coming. Um, won't be tonight, but uh, in the next few days, hopefully I'll get back over to Disney be able to actually put um, these cameras through some real world tests. I've already tested this one. I, ha I have a bunch of video from this camera, but I want them side by side. That way you guys can see the differences and what I'm talking about um, as far as, you know, if you think this camera is going to be your one-all, be-all, do-all camera, um, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, and this camera is not going to be your one-all, be-all, do-all camera either. Um, it's a great camera, but it, it won't do it all either. So, um, keep an eye out for the videos. I'll be bringing them out soon. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Both hands in the air. Over your head, please. Make sure the flash is off on your camera, please. It ruins the address. You were the passengers. <laughs>
stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and had a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you.